Hey y'all, it's Roquel, and welcome back to our little corner of the internet. Today we're gonna start something real special. Our brand new series called Quickies. Uh, get your mind out of the gutter. It's where we dish out the latest and greatest in beauty trends. We're talking indigo blue eyes today. Yes, honey, you heard right. It's bold, it's got sass, and it's what the fashion world is downright obsessed with for 2024. And who better to help us show off this gorgeous look than our very own Dakota. Now, why indigo blue, you might wonder. Well, let me spill the tea. The fashion know-it-alls from Elle to Vogue, even Pinterest, trend forecast, we're all singing the blues. We're talking a revival of that mermaid core charm blessing us with every shade of blue under the sun. If you love this look, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our beauty updates. So the first product I'm gonna use is MAC's Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And this is kind of like a pinky undertone primer. I'm gonna go in with such a deep blue color that I just really want like a clean slate. So I've already done Dakota's brows and if you notice, there's like a little bit of like a concealer here. So I use like a little bit of an olivey undertone concealer to highlight her brow bone. And I'm not taking it all the way up, I'm just gonna take it just a tad bit above her crease. So I'm coming in with the shade Royal Family from the Nimia palette. And I'm just gonna grab a big fluffy brush, apply the product into the bristles. This color is very pigmented. I just find that whenever I'm doing a very dramatic color, I always just like to start off on the outer part of the eye, just cause I feel like it just allows me to create drama and then I'll decide where I can commit the color to the most. Now I'm switching off to a little bit more of like a tapered brush and I'm starting to work the color into the outer V of the eye. And I'm just gonna continue to work the color. I'm gonna concentrate most of it by her lash line and I'm just gonna work out a little bit into like a V shape. So I want it to have like that snatched effect. So now I'm gonna start working the color into the inner part of her eye. I'm just focusing mostly on the lash line because that's where I want the most intensity. And then I'm just gonna start letting the color just crawl up into the crease. I'm gonna just lightly pack it in. I'm gonna come with a soft, clean, fluffy brush and I'm gonna just like soften the edges. Okay, so now I'm just gonna actually put some eye patches. I just wanna have a little bit of like a fallout protection. But also I love these patches because it kind of helps you create like a guide for the eye. Like you can see where the shape is going and I am going to continue to build the color. When you're dealing with like really intense colors or like smoky colors, you kind of really want to take your time with blending it. You don't want to just like start going ham because you create so many lines and it's just harder to blend out. So I kind of like to work, you know, the color little by little. So I'm still using a fluffy brush now, but this is a little bit more pinched. The bristles aren't as like wide, but still allows me to blend, but it presses and packs the color just in a little bit more like linear way. Cause I'm trying to pull out the eye a little bit and create like a snatched like graphic effect. I'm gonna continue to pull the color in to the middle of the eye because that's what's gonna create the gradient effect. And now I'm gonna grab a fluffy clean brush and start to like soften the edges a little bit. Just focusing on packing the color all along the lash line, like almost like a smoked out liner. And then like I said, I'm just grabbing a clean brush and that just helps so that I'm not adding more product and I'm fusing the line and just building out the smoked out effect. So I just removed the eye patch and now I'm just grabbing a clean wedge sponge. I put a little bit of micellar water on there just to start cleaning up the line and making it like a little bit more crisp. I'm trying to make it like a graphic Thick, snatched out eye. So this is like the perfect way for me to do this. So I'm gonna use this House Labs Cobalt Matte Blue Eyeliner and I'm just gonna rim her waterline with it. I'm just doing this just in here cause I want a little bit more of like an actual blue pop. And this is also gonna make her eyes like look even more honey hazel. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Artist Couture Ethereal Bloom Palette in the shade Angelic. And then I'm just working the color right underneath. And what it does is it just creates like a little bit of a gradient effect. I'm grabbing a fluffy tapered brush and I'm grabbing that same royal family color. And I'm just gonna lightly start to like create a little bit of like a V here. So it's not a crease, but it's just like a blended V. It's just to create some depth on the outer part of the eye. So now I'm gonna do a little mascara and I'm using the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Inglot Black Gel Liner and I'm gonna grab a angled brush with a pointy edge. And I'm just gonna use this just to rim the top of her lash line. I'm gonna go underneath because I really wanna create some depth in here. So I'm gonna go and make her lash look thicker and fuller. I'm just gonna do a little black baby wing. I don't want it to make it too dramatic. I just wanna add a little background to the smoky effect. And by doing this, it's like gonna create more of a snatched out effect. I'm gonna grab this tapered angled brush from Rose and Ben Cosmetics in the number E27. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Royal Family color. And I'm just basically gonna use it just to diffuse and that line and just create like a little bit of a smoke. I could have used black eyeshadow, but I just feel like this Inglot liner just is really black and dark and it just gives me the depth that I want without having to uh, really work that hard. All right, so I already did Dakota's skin and basically I'm gonna start setting her skin now. I used the MAC Studio Fix Foundation and I contoured with the RCMA palette. If you guys wanna see a little bit more on how I do skin, you can watch my other videos. So I just started baking a little bit of the under eye with the one size translucent powder and and I'm just doing this because I'm gonna come back in the eye and start just kind of like 
detailing the blue a little bit more. Now that I've done the skin, I can see like where I want to punch it up a little bit more or um, buff out some like lines. So I definitely want to come underneath the bottom lash line and add more of the Ethereal Bloom. I want to bring it a little bit lower. I'm going to use that baby blue shadow, the angelic shade, and I'm picking up just a nice little dome pencil brush. I'm just going to come underneath and just detail that. So if you can see, I'm trying to do like a watercolor effect. I want to make sure this looks super diffused and blended. So I'm gonna add some depth on her waterline and I'm just gonna come in here with some black eyeliner. Focusing mostly on the outer part and I'm using the one size black eyeliner. Just packing it a little bit into the bottom lash as well. So now I'm gonna come in with some individual lashes and just because I don't wanna overpower the eyeshadow, I'm gonna do some individual clusters just to build the eye. And I'm gonna use my eyelashes in the Style Lunar Lights. I'm grabbing the third cluster from the left, which is our medium cluster. And I'm grabbing another medium cluster. I placed that one right next to the one that I just laid down. I'm gonna come up with a small medium cluster and I'm gonna place that right next to those two medium clusters. I'm gonna put it right next to that. And then I'm gonna do another short next to that. Easy breezy Roquel mascaras. And let's put another medium in there. So I'm just applying a little bit of like a translucent powder underneath and I'm just gonna do it to catch any fallout because I'm gonna come in and add some mascara and some more black eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna use a Skin by Kim eyeshadow in the number 12. And I'm just gonna pick up that Rose and Ben brush in the number E27. And I'm just gonna kind of work the black a little bit right in here. Put a little bit of mascara of the MAC Giga Black Lash on a flat brush. And I'm just gonna work the mascara into her lashes. So we've already done Dakota's hair. We went for like this wet, like sleek, kind of mermaidy vibe. I wanted it to look like she just came out of the water and she'd been like, swimming with the mermaid, just to contrast the intensity of the eye because it is a very bold eye and I wanted to make make a statement today. So I know I usually don't do eyes like this, so I feel like I wanted to play, but how do you feel like about the hair and the vibe so far? We still have to finish her lip. I feel like a mermaid. Cute. So now I'm gonna come in and do Koda's lips and I'm gonna use my lip liner in the shade Transfigure. And it's a perfect lip liner for like an eye that's this intense because it's not too dark and it just has like the nice taupey undertones which contrast the blue in the eyes. It's more of like a cooler lip liner opposed to doing like a deeper chocolatey brown or like a warmer lip liner. And I'm just kind of overlining the cupid's bow a little bit. From here, I'm just gonna clean up the lip line a little bit. Just wanna make it a little bit more crisper. I'm gonna use a flat brush with a little bit of concealer. And I'm just gonna place the concealer in the back of my hand. I'm using the RCMA Shinto 3. I'm just gonna pinch in the sides of the lip. So now I'm using my Refined Gold Velvet Lip Cream in the shade Alleluia. And I'm gonna pop it out. What I love about the shape of this lipstick is it allows you to come and follow the lip liner shape. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip oil. So now I'm coming with a little bit of a lip oil and I'm using my lip oil from my new collection in the shade Eternal Mercy. It almost looks like a foundation like undertone. I love using this one because it really kind of complements any kind of nude lipstick. I really wanted to make a color that felt the 2000s nude colors that a lot of the celebrities used to wear. So this color was inspired by. That's all we've got for today's quickie. Like and subscribe if you want some more of this amazing beauty content. Dakota and I are gonna mosey on out for now, but we'll be back with more beauty hints though. <laughs> keep shining, keep experimenting, and keep fabulous, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe and like. <laughs> are we recording? I feel like we're being punked. Tonight on Punk. Is MTV here? <laughs> you mean Ashton Kutcher? Is there a camera in that AC unit? Like That's all we've got for today's- Stop yelling at the people. The remote's broken. With more beauty is spot. It's just the soy okay, sauce. Okay, we have to just wing it, go. It's a spicy mayo. <laughs> Dakota's gonna help go back into I the ocean. That, I know. Raquel! Raquel, you gotta be nicer to my mic. I'm not being mean to it. It fell off on its own. The mic wants to get the hell up out of here, too. Yeah, enough is enough. Hold on, let me put some powder on. Dumps his face in a powder box. Exactly. <laughs> Your whole hair fell out in the back. Dakota, <laughs> shut up. Dakota's being serious, man. Stop! Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> you have ants in your pants. They need to get more into the light. Literally. Okay, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. That's all we've got for today's quickie. Why do you have to smack? I've already done her eyebrows. Smack. Not the smack. I should just make smacking a thing for my. Like, why are we stopping it? Let's just let it be. All right, no Here smacking. Okay, so she looks like wet and like. <laughs> Wait, your nipples are showing. <laughs> <laughs>